Hello beautiful people, thank you for being here again. So there are no names for the days of the week, we call them as they are called in the book of Genesis, the story of creation. The first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, Shabbat. Only Saturday. Yeah? We are on the way to Cana in Galilee. The wedding church at Cana is dedicated to the weddings of Christianity. Its name commemorates the event of the wedding at Cana from the Gospel of John, thought by some Christians to have taken place on the site during which Jesus performed his first miracle. The miracle is told of in John 2, 1-11. Jesus, his mother, and his disciples attend a wedding in the village of Cana. When the wine runs out at the feast, Jesus turns water into wine, thus demonstrating his divinity to his disciples. Today, the married couples will have a renewal of their marital vows at the First Miracle Church. Century-old clay jars are still preserved and some of the original walls are still intact. And you see this, the, the thickness of the wall means that it used to be a big building, some, some public... And now we are on the way to the Mount of Beatitudes. According to the tradition, the Mount of Beatitudes is the place where Jesus gave his important sermon on the mountain to the multitude that assembled to see and hear him. Matthew 5, 3-11 The Sermon on the Mount focuses on nine verses. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. Beatitudes originates from the Latin words beati, means blessed, which is the prefix of each verse. This is the beautiful Basilica of the Church of Mount of Beatitudes. This is the church of the primary see of St. Peter, where Jesus is believed to have reinstated Peter as the head of the apostles. The fabled Sea of Galilee is where Christians believe Jesus walked on water, calmed the storm, and made Peter and Andrew fishers of men. We were able to experience riding a boat in the Sea of Galilee.
What an incredible experience! It's lunchtime, so we had a St. Peter's fish for our lunch today. Also called as tilapia. Tilapia is rumored to be the fish that was caught at St. Peter in the Sea of Galilee. And now we are going to Capernaum, the town of Jesus. Jesus had grown up in Nazareth, also close by, but Jesus was not welcome there because he had spoken in their synagogue about himself as the fulfillment of the prophecy. When he was not preaching in all the towns and villages throughout the land, Jesus returned to Capernaum. The Gospels tell us that during those times, Jesus stayed at the home of Simon Peter. This small town became the base of operation for Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus cured Peter's mother-in-law here. It was in the Capernaum synagogue that Jesus gave the Sermon on the Bread of Life. In John 6, 35-59, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. In this synagogue, Jesus would regularly preach. Christ expelled a demon from a possessed man here and cured a Roman officer's servant of palsy. The centurion is thought to have had a synagogue built. Here, Jesus is also famous for raising the daughter of Jairus from the dead. Despite having performed many miracles in Capernaum, Jesus was disappointed in the village's lack of faith. Tabga is a place with a special significance to the Christian faith. It is traditionally considered the place where the miracle of the multiplication of loaves and fishes occurred, as well as the site for Jesus' fourth resurrection appearance after his crucifixion. In Mark 6, 30-46, we read how Jesus and his disciples went out on the water to a remote site in search of some peace and quiet. Crowds of Jesus' followers came after them, and as night fell, there was nowhere around to find food for the multitudes. To feed the crowd of 5,000 people, Jesus performed a miracle, sharing two fish and five loaves between all the people. That's all for now. See you in part three. Thank you so much and God bless us all.